How do you structure your business for exit? Many companies have the following structure. An operating company generates the revenue and carries the expenses of the employees and the suppliers and may have some key equipment that's important in your business. So, you have your operating company that does the day-to-day. -day. You have your holding company that may own land and buildings, may even own major pieces of equipment. And then in some jurisdictions, you may have a trust or a family trust above that. And that holds the shares in either the holding company or the operating company or both. The best advice is talk with your tax specialist and make sure that your structure is optimal to create and protect your wealth and achieve your long-term objectives. If you want to retain this as a family business for future generations, great. There's structures available to do that. If you plan on selling your operating company in three years, hopefully not three months, but in three years or, or in ten years, then there's certain structures that you can do. If you're selling in the very near future, definitely talk to your tax specialist to make sure that you qualify for capital gains exemptions. Some companies, if you hold too much cash in the operating company, you're not a pure company and you are not eligible for capital gains exemption. And that can cost you millions. So pick up the phone, talk to your tax specialist, do not ask them how do you minimize taxes. Ask them very specifically, how do I structure my business to maximize my wealth and to allow and enable different kinds of structures and exits for you to create and protect wealth and get out of business.